Hey, what's up? You are tuning in to the Mellow Vets YouTube channel, and I'm Tiffany, the Mellow Viber. <laughs> the one hopefully giving you some Mellow Vibes and assistance on how to achieve that in life. Um, if I look oily, it's because I literally just rubbed a bunch of Karanja on me because it's 12.30 in the afternoon and mosquitoes are very much out, and I just got bit. Um, so I'm in the Berkshires for the week, and um, which is almost up. I'm here till Friday, but I just wanted to talk about creativity, uh, creativity and writing, uh, poetry, lyrics, music, you know, and how it's just this really great uh, workshop. Um, I was just writing the other day, and I, well, I'll get to that at the end, <laughs> but I just was thinking about how it's, you know, it's this really good uh, workshop in, a workshop of your emotions, of your feelings, whatever it is that you're feeling at the time. Um, you know, it creates self-awareness. It's honestly, to me, as somebody who's worked on myself um, consciously <laughs> for over 20 years it's really mind-boggling when you see people when I see people who um, I'm just like wow they're really not self-aware like at all uh, it happens even you know more so when you're watching like TV you know like Married at First Sight or something which I will be watching tonight but um, it's like whoa they really are not aware of how they come off and and I don't think like obviously no one's perfect I don't think I'm perfect uh, but I know how I come off I'm aware <laughs> I'm aware of the things that I need to fix um, and the things that I'm just like I'm cool with you know uh, but it's it's really insane how people really are not aware so I, I like writing um, for that reason it's it always helps me to see um, how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling a certain way, if it's valid, you know. Um, so like I write music, I write poetry, in order, you know, to do that. But I think what's really cool about it is if you want to take things further, you can, you know, find sounds, uh, find music that goes along with it, make music that goes along with it. Um, and honestly, like by the time you're you're finished <laughs> a lot of times you've worked through what the issue was what the feeling was um, there's this poem I can't remember what it's called anymore uh, but I know I kind of wrote it after listening to the heart of the matter by India Ari this is like back in the day um, 2005 2006 and I was able to just get out what I needed to from that. Like I was recovering from heartbreak from my first love and I wrote this poem and I performed it. I was like, I have to perform it. I have to get it out. And I have not performed that ever again. Even when I cr like, I pass it in my notebook, I don't even wanna look, I don't wanna look at it. It's like, I'm done. That's what I needed at that time, <laughs> you know? So. Like I said, you can usually work through whatever that is by the time you're you finished, and so it's like really a great practice. Um, and if you share it, like I did, like it just creates this vulnerability. Like I was always so nervous. Um, I mean, even sometimes uh, when I've performed in the past, like my leg is like <laughs> unconsciously shaking, like and I'm standing up and my leg's shaking. It's like how does that work? But it happens. <laughs> So it's not like it's not scary or nerve-wracking, but you just have to put yourself out there, you know? It creates this vulnerability, like Brene Brown you know, says, is courage. It's, it's courageous, it's strength. You know, we think about vulnerability as being a weakness, and it's not, like, at all. It's like the most courageous thing you can do is be vulnerable and, and be fair, you know? And that builds self-esteem. Um, I used to have very low self-esteem, which is why I started on my journey, my self-growth and self-development journey when I was 
around 12 or 13. And just over the years, I've just been building self-esteem and, you know, writing, writing, putting stuff out there, performing. Um, and some people are just like, I can't believe you do all this stuff. I can't believe you um, are able to just, you know, say these things and do these things and perform these things. And it's like, it, it, it's, a, it's a work. <laughs> it's a work and it's something you have to build up. It's not, it doesn't come out of nowhere. Not for me, maybe for some other people. So, um, yeah, build self-esteem. You know, it took several years to get to that point uh, for me. So be patient with yourself. You know, um, I'm always talking about like this microwave generation where people just want things right away. But like I said, I have been working for over 20 years. Um, you get better over time. Uh, just like wine <laughs> and cheese, I guess, right? So, okay, we're back. So, I definitely performed and shared a little bit along the way. And, um, oh my gosh, I'm remembering how like difficult one time was uh, sharing something that I had to write in English class. And when I wrote my poem, and I read my poem, did I read my No, I didn't read that poem. I turned that poem in and then I ended up reading a different poem because my teacher was just like, if I didn't know you better, I would have to send you to guidance because I just don't think that was appropriate. I'm just like, anyway, um, whatever. I'm not gonna <laughs> get into that. That poem is in my first book, Love Cycles. It's called Your Poetic Rejection. I wrote that when I was 15 years old. And um, yeah, that was the response from my teacher who's like my favorite, one of my favorite teachers at the time. And I was just like so offended because I didn't think there was anything wrong with that poem. So yeah, at times that's like halted me from like sharing. Well, especially, in, I don't think I shared in school after that. Like I, I wrote another poem that I could read for the class. Um, but after that, I was like, no, <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, sharing can be kind of jarring at some, at some points. But I think it was, um, I was reading Trust Your Vibes by Sonia Choquette, which is one of the greatest books for me um, in my development and taking more so in taking big leaps um, there was like this part on like perfection and stuff like that and I just reading that was realizing yeah like I'm really not getting anything done I'm really not getting where I getting to where I want to be because I'm focused on things being perfect and focused on things having no mistakes and that's just not real I can't be scared to share all the time. I can't be scared because I feel like maybe um, this doesn't sound up to par or it doesn't sound the way I want it to. Or um, I had such huge fear about sharing my music. I'm a singer, I love to sing. I performed since I was young. <laughs> and, um, and again, there's a difference between performing my own stuff and performing other people's stuff. That's a whole nother level of vulnerability. I can sing, I never had a problem like singing you know, covers and everything, that's whatever. But when you're singing something that you wrote, that's a whole nother layer of vulnerability. Um, that's the scary part. Uh, but, so I was, you know, known as a performer, but I wouldn't really sing my own music or put out my own music. And it was really embarrassing when people would be like, oh, where can I get your stuff? And I'm just like, well, nowhere, because I haven't released anything, because I'm too freaking scared to do it, right? Um, but, you know, that's, uh, I had to, after reading uh, Sonia's book, I was just like, I need to take these big leaps. Like, if it doesn't sound right, it's like, I think I'm a great singer, um, like, in person, but I was always having, like, issues with how I sound, like, recorded. But somebody told me, nobody likes the, the way their voice sounds recorded. Get over it. So, I did. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah. So... Like I said, it may not be perfect because nothing is, but you know, I did it, I, I worked hard. Um, and if I worked hard, why am I just gonna leave something sitting out, sitting on my computer, sitting in my notebook, you know, I'm gonna put it out. It was just like, F it, you know? And you have to, you build that confidence over time. It's just like, maybe I would want this to be different. I don't really know how to do it, but I'm gonna put it out anyway. If, <laughs> if I figure it out and wanna fix something later, then maybe, I'll, maybe I will. If I find another producer who says they can do this, uh, later, then, you know, maybe that will be another thing, but if I work hard and I really like something, regardless of if it's exactly the way I want it to be or sound or whatever, I'm just going to put it out. Um, 
somebody's gonna like it and if not I like it so um, my latest works of vulnerability are my EPs shift and external um, and my newest collection of poetry and pictures which is spirit excavation and that just came out you know five days ago <laughs> so you can find all of them on melavibes.com and you know get to creating start creating do it now um, start writing, start sharing, start making your own music, start writing your own poetry, start reading them to people, um, put it out there, like, there's only going up, you can only build yourself up um, when you do that, and it's just uh, a really a great work for you to do. I teach a class on, you know, uh, uh, on uh, self-excavation, and you can also find that on melavibes.com it's through bloom healing arts dot it's through bloom healing arts dot co which the link is on my website as well um but it is such a great act of self-love so all right that's it for now peace and mellow vibes <laughs>